Remember when we used to think of NASA only in terms of moon missions? Well, they're back with a revolutionary innovation that promises to shake the very foundations of transportation on Earth. We're diving into a new era where vehicles are not just more efficient, but incredibly safe. And it's all thanks to a groundbreaking invention, a sulfur-selenium solid-state battery. Stick around and you'll discover how this new battery isn't just a marginal improvement over lithium-ion batteries. It's a game-changer. We're talking about a technology that may multiply energy efficiency two or three times over without the risks associated with current battery technology. Ah, batteries. The unsung heroes of our gadgets, gizmos, and yes, even those fantastical flying machines we call electric aircraft. You've got your traditional lithium-ion battery, the heart and soul of most gadgets like smartphones and power tools. It's filled with liquid electrolytes and works just fine. But then, solid-state batteries strut into the room, looking all slick and modern. They say, liquid who? And swap out the liquid electrolyte for a solid one. It's rich, refined, and offers something new. These solid-state batteries have been hanging out in your pacemakers and smartwatches, but now they're ready to make their grand entrance into the world of electric vehicles. Toyota's in on it, telling us they've cracked the durability code, and mass production could start as soon as 2027 to 2028. But why all the fuss? Solid-state batteries are like the ultimate gadget. They've been dubbed the holy grail, and even the kiss of death for those old-school combustion engines. Why? they pack more power, and they're promising a longer driving range on a single charge. About 35% of Americans dream of EVs that can go 500 miles or more. It's like wishing for a pizza with infinite toppings, and solid-state batteries are delivering that dream by reducing the charge time, too. How about electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or EVTOL, for urban air mobility? Yeah, we're talking flying cars! The challenge here is creating a battery that's like the superhero team of the Avengers, packed with safety, energy density, power, packaging design, and scalability. Traditional lithium-ion batteries just aren't Iron Man enough for this gig, but NASA's stepping in with a revolutionary idea. They've got this Sabres concept that brings sulfur and selenium together for an epic dance, giving you a perfectly balanced energy-to-power density ratio. Let's cook up an analogy that might be more appetizing. Imagine your favorite massive tub of popcorn at the movies. The size of that tub represents the battery's energy, or capacity. The larger the tub, the more popcorn it can hold. Now, think about devouring that popcorn, handful by handful. How quickly you can munch through it all represents the battery's power. To power an electric aircraft, we're talking about gobbling that popcorn faster than you can say, extra butter, please. It's a complex gourmet treat that NASA has been cooking up lately. They've been whipping up something in the experimental kitchen called Sabres, and they're using ingredients that have never been put in a battery recipe before. It's like adding a dash of paprika to your grandma's secret brownie recipe, and BAM! You have something extraordinary. What's extraordinary, you ask? Well, in the past year, they've managed to accelerate the battery's discharge rate by a factor of 10, then spice it up with another factor of 5. Some people might say, what's NASA doing with batteries? Aren't they just burning cash like I burn my toast? But you and I know better. They've been working diligently in their techno kitchen, contributing more than just flashy space missions. They've actually cooked up some impressive dishes that even the most avid EV advocate would salivate over. Imagine your typical lithium-ion battery as a tiny water bucket. It can only hold so much before you need a new one. But what NASA has done with the sulfur-selenium prototype is akin to turning that pitiful little bucket into an entire swimming pool. When Rocco Vigiano, the genius behind this tech at NASA's Glenn Research Center, sees this battery, he doesn't see a container. He sees limitless horizons and energy densities reaching 500 watt-hours per kilogram. That's double the oomph of what we've been using! Now, what's lighter than a feather and stronger than Hercules? It's these new sulfur-selenium batteries, weighing 40% less and fitting together like Lego bricks without needing any extra bulk. Picture it. Stacks of batteries, no casing, and enough room for more. It's like fitting your entire wardrobe into a carry-on suitcase. You know what else? The cooling system gets slimmed down too, making it perfect for those weight-watching aircraft. Oh, and did we mention they can take the heat? they can endure temperatures twice as scorching as conventional lithium-ion batteries. Imagine the Terminator walking out of the flames and you've got these batteries, resistant to the wild changes in pressure during those zooming takeoffs and gravity-defying landings. However, my tech-savvy pals, every Iron Man suit has its limitations. The sulfur-selenium battery's main nemesis is its cost. 
Bringing something new to the aircraft world is rigorous, demanding, and costly. But hey, over thousands of flights, that cost may end up being the price for a VIP ticket to the future of aviation. Battery-powered electric airplanes are coming, and it's not a matter of if, but when. The question is, will NASA's cutting-edge technology be the beating heart of this new era? Just like discovering a new planet in our solar system, this is uncharted territory, and the possibilities are boundless. But wait, you might say, some batteries already have a higher energy density. And you'd be right, there are the Olympians and the underachievers. But we're talking about an average Herculean leap in power, and that's not all. Imagine trying to launch an aircraft off the ground. It's like trying to get your sleepy friend out of bed after a late night gaming session. It takes an insane amount of energy. Until recently, lithium-ion batteries were like that friend's coffee, discharging power quickly and providing a much-needed boost. But now, NASA's Sabres battery is like the ultimate energy drink, discharging 10 times faster than when the research began. And why does this matter for aircraft? Think about the intricate curves and sleek designs of an airplane. There's nothing flat about it, except maybe the in-flight soda. NASA's sulfur-selenium battery cells can twist and bend to fit into these unconventional spaces like a contortionist at a circus. So, here we are, standing at the threshold of a new era where batteries aren't just blocks of power, but intricate, lightweight, super-efficient powerhouses. NASA's evolutionary leap in battery technology is not just something for science geeks. It's a big advantage that impacts us all. Could this be the spark that lights the way to a new future in aviation? Only time will tell. But for now, we can marvel at this incredible feat and imagine the endless possibilities. Now, let's break it down to brass tacks. Solid-state batteries sound awesome, right? But the big fat elephant in the room? That's the price tag. These babies are still as expensive as a vintage comic collection. And though they're still in the prototyping phase, they're showing promise like a rookie athlete with eyes on the big leagues. Allow me to paint you a picture of the future. Air taxis. Yeah, I said it, air taxis. United Airlines is working on this sleek, winged aircraft that's as graceful as a swan at cruising altitude. Meanwhile, Archer Aviation is working on something straight out of a James Cameron movie. Oversized drones that whirl about, guzzling power like a teenager at a soda fountain and offering shorter range thrill rides. Now, NASA's head honcho sees this new battery as the next big thing. A standard that's set to be adopted by aircraft, maybe even the jets of tomorrow. It's like discovering the Colonel's secret blend of herbs and spices, but for aviation. With double the energy density and 40% less weight, this battery is the true rock star, with an insane ability to unleash the juice in no time. Imagine electric motors weighing as much as a giant panda, but boasting nearly 1,000 horsepower. Slap four of those on a commercial passenger jet, and you've got a flying monster with twice the power of today's airliners, and the ability to rock and roll that power like a lead guitarist on stage. These solid-state batteries aren't just full of power. They're solid, like literally. Without a liquid electrolyte playing a dangerous game inside, they're much less likely to throw a tantrum and start a fire. It's like trading in a wild Mustang for a well-trained show horse. Still thrilling, but a whole lot safer. So would you be brave enough to take a seat on an airplane powered by NASA's solid-state battery? Imagine soaring through the skies on this technological marvel like Iron Man on a joyride. How cool would that be? Are you ready to take the plunge into the future? Or will you be watching from the sidelines? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.